Melbourne town. It's an amazing day. So I'm here at uh, Michael's. Look at those two amazing blokes. I've got something exciting to show everyone. Come this way. And of course, today I'm at Block Place, which is our little studio and gallery in the city. And uh, this is my new home, of course. Have a look in here. I got this from Michael's. They were able to help me out, which is lovely. So what, what, what is this all about? As you know, we shoot focus group here and I do a lot of other things with wireless microphones. Where's it gone? Wireless microphones. Here is the pack that I've been using for about, I don't know, five or six years, maybe longer. And it takes two AA batteries and that becomes very annoying and technology has now changed. And now we're going to upgrade to, da -da -da -da. check it out. What's in here? It is the Rode Wireless Go. And what is fantastic, there's a lot of things that are fantastic about this and the reason why I'm upgrading from the older package to this package. Now let's do a quick unboxing. see the, the road sitting there doing its thing and hopefully it's sounding good. Now we'll head outside, see what that sounds like. Go for a cruise. There's a bit of a sound check. Which interestingly, because the road is smaller than the old Sony one that I had, that means it sits up here on the dashboard much more easily. Isn't that fun? Anyway, this is the Rode Wireless Go mobile test. We're just using the unit here, as you can see, just the little box. That's all we're using. And we've got the dead cat on here to get rid of the wind. There is no wind in the car unless I open the window. There's an idea. Let's open the window. Although really not that much wind comes in when you're driving. Well, I suppose a little bit does. Not sure if it would end up on this part of my body. We'll find out, won't we? Uh, but no, this is not a good wind test. It's more of a noise test. Hopefully you can still hear me well. I suppose there's a bit of wind right here on my face. So anyway, loving what I'm seeing, loving, uh, loving how it's working, loving being able to see the battery. Another great thing is you can see the the battery power of the transmitter on the receiver. So the camera operator can see if you're running out of power and you've got to do something about it. That's great. With the old unit I had, you had to physically go to that unit and see how much power was left. I don't even know how to get in here. We start at the bottom. There we go. Okay, good, good idea. To... Look at this. We get to tear it off. That's nice. We know no one else has played with it. I like that. That's how I wanted to do my calendars originally like that. Okay, as usual, we have instructions. Instructions. Tell us what the thing does. Instru oh, <laughs> I can't get it out. Oh, that's because it's connected. Okay, cool instructions. And here we have the receiver and the transmitter. Now, there are a couple of things about this particular construction that I love. Anyway, there's the transmitter. There's your cables. We have a USB to USB-C, standard USB A to C. And over here, we have, two, oh, we've got two of them. That makes sense. It's one for each unit. Great. The units. A dead cat to stop the wind from causing problems. Uh, two dead cats they've given us. Very generous. Thank you, Rode. Silicon so they don't get wet. Cable to go from receiver to camera. And a beautiful little pouch for everything to go in. Isn't that amazing? And there's our instructions. Now, so, what do I love about the new Rode? Nice, nice clip action going on there. I'll tell you what I love about these. 
Okay, number one thing I love about it is it's rechargeable, built-in rechargeable batteries. Done with the USB. So you don't have to find, you don't have to find batteries. You don't have to worry about whether it's working or not. You, you, this device will tell you how much charge it's got. You'll not, you know that you can get through a whole event. So that's my number one reason, rechargeable. I am so sick of hunting for batteries and this solves that problem. Fantastic. Second thing I love about it, well, again, pulling this old transmitter out of my pocket, look at the size difference. It is about, well, you know, a quarter the size and not even the same depth, yet we get the same result. So size, and of course, the other one fits on top of your camera, and it's the, the thing that's on top of the camera is the same size as this. So significantly less weight and size and bulk and volume on top of your camera. That's the second thing I love about it. The third thing that I love about it is, okay, this here is the uh, transmitter. The other thing about this as a transmitter is you don't need a microphone. You can, this has actually got a microphone built in and you can just, like this, see, feel that microphone? You can just clip this, maybe not quite as incongruously. Oh, there's the phone, we'll, we'll just cut for a second. This, 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 there's a microphone built into this device. So you really, you just need to carry around these two things and this cable and you've got everything you need in a tiny package. And if you've lost your mic, there's still a mic here in the transmitter. So the transmitter. So these are the three things that I love. Oh, well, plus there's a screen that has more accurate information, I think, than the screen on this. Ah, this has a lot of features that you never use. Anyway, the three things are it's rechargeable. They're both rechargeable with USB-C, fantastic. Second thing is tiny. Look how small receiver. It's so small, I've already lost it. The other one, oh, it's because it's here tiny compared to this big galumph. And the third thing is if you, if you leave your microphone at home but you've got this, you can still record. There is a microphone built into that. The Rode Wireless Go is definitely the future. This stuff is definitely the past and it's gonna save my bacon a few times when I've either got flat batteries or I've forgotten my batteries. Because of course you can just charge this in the car or with the battery you have with you or your laptop or your computer, anywhere there's USB you're in business, so good. Another thing I just wanted to add is of course, once the receiver is on the top of the camera, we can see that on the Nikon Z7, it is flush with the eyepiece. Now this is not possible with my previous receiver. It means I can look through the eyepiece and not have my head banging into the receiver, which means it still works perfectly. Thanks very much for being here and seeing my thoughts on the Rode Wireless Go. Uh, please share, please like, you know it makes us smarter. And please subscribe so you can come back for next time. Okay, bye for now. See the beautiful work that Mark has done with resetting the gallery after the exhibition. I love what he's done, lining up the canvases and the prints from the exhibition. The space is looking amazing. Thank you, Mark. Love, love your work. So here we are on location in a car park in Melbourne, or are we? Reveal. <laughs> Plugs. Will I? <laughs> maybe maybe I won't.
Maybe I won't. Maybe I lie. I lie. Uh, 